we all have uniquenesses about us and we're not all the same, so get to know us as the person we are. We're just asking you for the good health care you would give to somebody without a disability. The absence of training for nurses on how best to care for this population contributes to the health disparities that the population experiences. Every day, we as nurses are working with patients with intellectual and developmental disabilities. And of course we are. In the United States, one in six individuals has an intellectual or developmental disability. However, most nurses are not trained to understand the unique challenges of the patient population. And this lack of training and preparation has consequences for our patients, poor health outcomes, and poor care. For our clinical team, they lack the competence, confidence, and comfort to provide care. As the largest segment of the healthcare workforce, we know we can make a significant impact in the lives and the health outcomes of people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. At the national level, there's very little emphasis in nursing education on the needs of people with disabilities, and particularly people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. So with that in mind, I saw an opportunity to continue the work that we've always done, to create an institute that would be concerned with nursing education for the new nurses in the workforce, nursing education um, for the needs of nurses who are already in the workforce, and to develop thought leaders around the nation who would move policy forward, move systems forward, invest in research and best practices to um, end the health disparities and improve health outcomes. Today, we are the leading provider of resources across a nurse's professional journey with pre-licensure content for students, continuing education for practicing professionals, an advanced practice provider residency curriculum, and the Golisano Institute for Developmental Disability Nursing Fellowship for Emerging Leaders. What the Institute has done by the fellowship, by developing educational programs, is improving the patient experience, improving population health, improving costs, and improving the health of the workforce. Our staff just absolutely love the education. Our patients are definitely getting better care because of it. And they definitely feel that the modules not only help reduce costs, but length of stay as well. So these programs and these modules take it to a new level. It's not something I know of that is really comparable to anything else that's out there right now. What sets the Golisano Institute apart is our work is created by nurses for nurses. It's driven by our commitment to improving health equity for people with intellectual and developmental disability. It's the internal talent of our faculty and national network that's enabled the Institute to set the standard for competent and ethical intellectual and developmental disability nursing practice. Our innovative approach to content development and dissemination is paving the way to do this work while becoming increasingly self-sustaining. Whether it's in a primary care space or a hospital setting, when patients and their families walk through the doors, we want them to be confident that they can expect the same access and quality of health care that you and I have the opportunity to receive. Our goal is to make these resources mainstream, put the information and tools in the hands of every nurse across the United States. People with intellectual and developmental disability are everywhere, and the Golisano Institute prepares the nursing profession to care for them. <laughs>